So let's check the uh, brew version installed in the laptop. So for that issue, the command brew iPhone V. So uh, we have a brew installed. The next step is to install a uh, uh, Postgres. So for that, in uh, issue the command brew install Postgres. So I have already installed brew, uh, sorry Postgres. Um, so it's suggesting that you can reinstall. So for that, you have to execute the command brew reinstall Postgres. So we successfully installed a uh, Postgres database on the machine. Now we'll start the database on this machine. Now for that, we have two options. Either you start as a service uh, when the machine, boot, machine boots up, you can uh, have this database also uh, up and running. But another option is you can, you can do it, uh, go and start it manually. So I'm going the manual route, uh, you know. So issue the command pg underscore ctl. Uh, that will help you start uh, the server manually. So the command is pg underscore ctl iphone d and then the path where your postgres installation is and then start so our server is started and now i'll go and uh, stop the server so the same command um, uh, but just instead of start you're going to put stop uh, let us start the server um, it was for a demo i just showed you how to stop it uh, we need the server to be running so let's start it to start the uh, Postgres prompt, we should issue this command PSQL Postgres. Now we are in the sh shell, we can execute the uh, commands. So uh, to list the number of users, we'll use backward slash du. By default, you will see one user created. That's the uh, admin user of this uh, machine. Now let's create a, a user, uh, which is I will I'll create as an SQL user. So the user got created and now list the users. Uh, the new user should be appearing in the list. Now let's de define a role for the newly created user. Uh, uh, let's add a database, uh, create database role. Now verify that uh, the role has created properly. So user role is created. Uh, now I'll quit this database and re-log in as the new user uh, we just created. For that, issue the command backward slash Q. Now let's log in as the new user. Um, so issue this command. PSQL, Postgres, hyphen U, and the username. So we are successfully logged in as a new user. Now we'll list uh, the databases the user has access to. Issue the command slash forward slash L. So next thing what we're going to do is create a database. Uh, uh, for this user okay the command is create database and the database name um, now the database got created and uh, as a verification we just list the database to make sure the database is existing so database got created successfully the next thing what we are going to do is like we're going to log into that database for that I'm going to use PG admin you can download the PG admin from internet it's a free ad, uh, installation and then start PG admin on your machine. Uh, once it is uh, started, you have to provide a password which you are given at the time of installation. Now you have uh, logged into the PG admin. You can right click on the servers and then create a server. And what you're going to do there is you're going to give the informations uh, to log into a database. We'll have a user, database, and password, which we already created. Just put all those information in there and you'll be able to log in uh, because i'm uh, accessing a local machine so you can put your host as local host port is by default 5432 uh, the database name sql database um, sql user and the password now you can uh, save the password or or you can you know leave that option uh, hit the save button so now we have successfully logged into pg admin um, by default uh, if you expand the database, um, yeah, by default, if you expand the SQL database, you'll see the a query tool is used to execute uh, SQL statements. You can type all your uh, SQL statements, DML and DDL. You can create new schema by right-clicking on the schemas. Um, you can name 
whatever you want on your schema and just name it as Isquella. Uh, also you can assign an owner for the schema uh, so that, um, I'm assigning it as Isquella user and click save uh, you should see a new schema created under uh, the section schemas once your schema is ready we can go and create a um, table so expand the schema then you will have a section called uh, tables and right click and create table so now we can create table uh, create a table give a table name and then define your columns um, it's just it's just like any other relational database so it's all pretty straightforward you can select any t uh, data types um, same like in any, any other um, uh, relational database uh, so I'll, sell, I'll I'll use my columns as uh, username and password so um, I'm, I'm going to select this data data type as uh, a character so care and which is uh, equal to where care in Oracle um, uh, now and then another option you have is you can go and grab the SQL statement from the sequence tab SQL tab um, I'll I'm going to grab that and execute in the query tool uh, instead of uh, creating it here in the UI take a look at this tab and you see that create table and the alt statement uh, they created um, these are the sequels that it has generated so it can directly go and execute this in the query tool so now I'm going to paste it here and run execute command and the table will get created and now let's go and refresh the tables you'll see the new table created 